So I'm going to show another way to cut this sword. Um, so this is a large blade sword I got uh, online, actually, cousin, my wife's cousin sent it to me. And the question was, hey, you can see here that it's too large to print on this Prusa Mini. Obviously, the light part in the bottom is the cut is actually the print limit for this printer, and the dark part is the part that won't print. So my print ink bed's uh, 170, basically 180, and I'm going to print these, cut this at 150. So I'm just going to, and why am I doing this this time? I just want to show you how the plug piece work and just so you know so this is an ex this is a little different example i did before um so this is the one with the dovetail cut but basically it's going to work like this you see this hex part in the bottom and we're going to print rods they'll be a lot shorter than this because they'll go between but it'll probably be like this when i'm done and basically each piece will be joined to the next we'll glue them together and then we'll use a long version of this plugged in as a as a plug to join those to get together to get a physical fit in addition to the glue. So all I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to make a planar cut, right? We could have done the dovetail, which I did before. Instead, we're going to do a planar and I'm going to do it at 150 uh, centimeter, centimeters, millimeters. And uh, you can see that's inside my print range. I actually could make it, you know, 160. So now we're closer to the and actually, you can see me pushing this up and down into the print zone. So that's 166. I'm going to add the connectors here. Now, in my case, I actually like using these kind of dowels instead of a plug. And uh, that gives me some flexibility to play around and do other things. And so in this case, I'm actually going to make these plugs really big. As, so they'll basically fill up a lot of um, this part here. I'll show you. So we can zoom in and I can show you. So this is where we're going to put this thing. Um, so in my case, I'm going to make it 22 millimeters deep. Actually, we'll do it like this, 22. And we'll make it 12 millimeters wide. And I'm not going to do any rotation on this. So we're going to have a 22 millimeter deep hole and it'll be 12 millimeters wide and it turns out that fits in here and if you look at it what i can do is i can just click on this and this hex i can put it anywhere i want on this on this surface that got cut in this case this looks pretty good right there i could do two smaller ones and you know do a double in this case i went you know what let's make sure we're i don't think we're centered we'll just move it around a little bit all right, and that's it. And then over here, you can see the piece uh, that I, the original piece, when I cut it, I'm gonna click cut it. And because we picked a dowel, right, that's gonna create another one of these guys as a standalone to be glued into both. Uh, I can say confirm conductors and perform the cut. And you can see what happened here, right? I ended up with three parts. One is the sword that's gotta be connect again. One is the base, which will have a hole on the other side. You can see it there. And then, and actually this is the hole we cut. We did this cut here and it made a hex and then it gave us the plug. And you can see the length of the plug we're gonna use for that. We can do this again. Uh, I'll just click off, click on, do this, pick a height, uh, do a planar cut again, pick 150 again. We'll look at, no, no let's make it 150 just cause why not? We'll zoom out, we'll add the connectors. We'll look at that. It's gonna be 22 by 12 again. We're gonna click on that. You can kind of see that green piece there. We're gonna say, yeah, that looks good. Confirm the connector, confirm the cut. So now you can see that two pieces have been cut off this sword. We've got the two hexes uh, that we're gonna use. They're the same length. And these will fit really well on my Prusa. And then you can see we have the hexes on the bottom and we can cut this last one here. Boom, bada boom, bada boom to 150. We're gonna do it again. And we're gonna add the connector and I'm gonna click here. Oh, come on. Yep, I'm looking around. I don't like where that one is. So let's pick it up. It's hard to see in the color. And we can confirm the connector and we can perform the cut. And so that's that, 
right? Now we'd end up doing a brim on this, so we'll end up with, so that's it. I got four pieces. They all have hexes in the bottom and the four pieces will be joined by the three connectors, right? Oh, this guy's still too tall. I did it wrong. So I should have made it a little bigger where the point's still off a little bit. So you know what, let's just back up. Boop, boop, boop. We're gonna take this one and we're gonna cut it again and we're gonna make it 160 and we're gonna use the connector and it went in the right place and we did boom, we did the cut. And now we're inside, there's no blue, there's no warning down here. And you can see that it actually generated the connectors over here on this side and it generated all of these. And I think that looks pretty good. And we'll just move, have to move those apart because we're gonna need to do this with a brim. That conflict, right? Because they're too close together, stability issue. This actually doesn't have a stability issue, so I don't know what it's talking about. Um, and it looks like they're gonna print pretty well there. And that's all we need to do and that's it. So that is all you need to do to generate these. And I wanted, like I said, I wanted these plugs. It gives me an extra reinforcing wall internally. We could change the perimeters too or change the fill. I'm not gonna do that for this. Um, and so we could have made these longer. Uh, somebody asked me why I didn't make them like a 150 like deep each, right? And that way we would have a really long plug, a whole bunch of extra stability, and we could glue all down this plug. And uh, we would still have the joint here. We would glue that. Uh, but that would give us that strength. And that's it. Oh, did I record that? I hope so. Have a great day.